Professor of Criminal Justice says he's been worried something like this would happen. Local 12's Deborah Dixon talked with Dr. John Wright about why he saw it coming. There are nervous cops all over the country today. Some departments, such as Cincinnati, Norwood, and Dallas, are patrolling with two officers in a cruiser. It's for safety, but it's also to help them cope with the ambush and murders of the Dallas officers, killed because of the uniform. People have worried about this nasty rhetoric, vile rhetoric against the police uh, for, a, for a long time now. They were worried that this type of event would unfold precisely because the rhetoric was so over the top. Dr. John Wright is considered an expert on development of criminal behavior. He says dangerous rhetoric started back in Ferguson, Missouri after the fatal police shooting of Michael Brown. Hands up, don't shoot, became a narrative, even though it didn't happen. Social media fed the myth. It was embraced by parts of the media. It was embraced by numerous academics who should have known better. Uh, and it was embraced by BLM, clearly. BLM, Black Lives Matter. Dr. Wright says the group's rhetoric often condones violence toward police. If you watch the protests, right, taunting police officers, calling for their, calling for harm to be done to them, uh, pigs in the blanket, uh, passing around posters of police officers being beheaded. This is not principled discourse. This is not principled protest. This is violence. Wright says some complaints about police are justified, but should be handled in the courts, not on the streets. We should have zero tolerance for criminal behavior by the police. Zero. But we should also have, we should never make an excuse for criminal behavior directed at the police. How much does racism play into America now? The sniper said he wanted to kill white people, especially white cops. Protesters say cops are hunting down black men. Racism condition of the heart. If you hate other people for whatever reason, right, there's a problem with you. Dr. Wright says it's time for discourse, the real deal, not just listening to the loudest voice. The question for all of us is, what kind of society do we want to live in? And Rob, Black Lives Matter says it's irresponsible to blame a movement for what a lone gunman did. And also I have some email from Lieutenant Colonel Dave Bailey to the entire police department. He says the agency's mission is to move forward through violence and he reminds them that their training has prepared them for that. He also reminds them that most of the community supports the department. He says they are our partners, rely on that bond. And he says, most of all, take care of each other. Yeah, which is what they're going to have to do in this case. Last night when we were covering this, when it was developing, I was watching as the shots were ringing out, the officers were running toward, toward the shots. Well, I mean, who does that except police officers? And also pushing people out of the yeah, way uh, exactly. instead of moving themselves out of the way, pushing people out of the way. And the Dallas police chief today was asking that hit the people in Dallas say thank you to the police officers. Show them that you support them because they're feeling this today. Oh, everywhere, officers oh, everywhere a, are feeling this. The cops this. are scared. They, yeah. they, I'm sure no one in Dallas thought that would happen. Yeah. And they're wondering who's next. Deborah Dixon, thanks very much. Okay.